Have you ever found yourself wondering why, despite feeling spiritually awakened, connected to a higher purpose, and devoted to helping others, you still face financial struggles? It feels almost like a paradox, doesn't it? You have this incredible awareness, this drive to serve humanity, and yet money remains elusive. Many people who are on this spiritual path, often referred to as chosen ones, experience a similar situation. They find themselves in financial difficulty, which seems to contradict their spiritual calling. If this sounds familiar, you're not alone. You're part of a larger group of individuals who are experiencing the same struggles. There's a deeper reason behind why chosen ones often face financial challenges, and it's not because you're lacking in abilities, intelligence, or worthiness. Quite the opposite, in fact. In this video, we're going to explore why being spiritually chosen often comes with financial difficulties. We'll dig into who the chosen ones are, why money seems to slip away from them, and how these struggles are connected to a much larger divine plan. Most importantly, we'll look at how you can align your spiritual purpose with financial abundance. Let's dive deep and unravel the mystery of why so many chosen ones seem to be broke and what it means for your spiritual journey. People with special purpose. So, who exactly are the chosen ones? Perhaps you've heard this term before and felt a sense of resonance with it. Or maybe you're still exploring whether this label applies to you. Chosen ones are people who have awakened spiritually to a greater understanding of life's deeper truths. They are individuals who feel a powerful connection to the universe, to the divine, and have a sense of purpose that goes beyond the everyday material pursuits of life. If you're a chosen one, you've likely felt this inner calling for as long as you can remember. There's a voice inside you that urges you to seek truth, help others, and live in alignment with your higher self. You may have had experiences that others around you don't understand, perhaps spiritual awakenings, intuitive insights, or a sense of knowing things without needing logical explanations. Chosen ones often have heightened empathy, intuition, and spiritual awareness. You might be the person others turn to for advice, comfort, or healing. You could also be highly sensitive to the energies around you, finding it difficult to be in environments or around people who emit negative or low vibration energy. As a result, you may often feel out of place in society, like you don't fit into the traditional molds that others seem comfortable with. This deeper sense of purpose comes with great responsibility. You're here to contribute to the awakening of others, to spread light, and to help elevate the consciousness of humanity. It's a beautiful mission, but it's not without its challenges. One of the most common difficulties that chosen ones face is financial instability. It's as though the more spiritually connected you become, the more disconnected you feel from the world's traditional measures of success, including money. You might find yourself questioning why, if you're on such an important path, you struggle financially. After all, shouldn't the universe provide for those who are doing its work? The answer is layered, but rest assured, your financial struggles have a higher purpose. Why being spiritually chosen often means financial struggles. One of the key reasons chosen ones often face financial difficulties is because of their inherent disconnection from the material world. If you think about it, society teaches us from an early age that money is a measure of success. You're told to get a good job, earn money, and accumulate material possessions as a sign that you've made it in life. But if you're a chosen one, this framework of thinking doesn't sit well with you. As someone who is spiritually awakened, your priorities are different. You're not driven by the same desires for wealth and status that most people are. You understand that material wealth is temporary, while spiritual growth and inner peace are far more lasting and fulfilling. This shift in priorities creates the disconnect between you and the traditional financial system. For chosen ones, their focus is often on spiritual growth, helping others, and living in alignment with their purpose. These noble pursuits, while invaluable, don't always come with a paycheck. You may spend your time working on personal development, healing others, or creating positive change in the world, but these acts of service don't always align with a high-paying job or conventional career paths. 
In many cases, chosen ones are drawn to work that serves humanity, whether through healing, teaching, or some other form of spiritual service. But these paths don't always lead to financial abundance right away. In fact, many people who walk the spiritual path find that they have to sacrifice financial stability to stay true to their calling. You might have found yourself leaving a well-paying job because it no longer aligned with your spiritual values. Or perhaps you've chosen a career in a field like energy healing, spiritual coaching, or nonprofit work, which may bring immense fulfillment, but not necessarily financial security. Another aspect of this financial struggle is the deep-seated beliefs about money that many chosen ones carry. From a spiritual perspective, money is often seen as something that corrupts, something that distracts from higher pursuits. You might have been raised with belief that money is the root of all evil, or that seeking wealth is selfish. These subconscious beliefs can create an energetic block, preventing you from fully attracting abundance into your life. But it's important to remember that money, in and of itself, is not bad. Money is simply energy. It's neutral. What matters is how you use it. For chosen ones, the challenge is to shift their perspective on money and begin to see it as a tool that can support their spiritual mission. This requires a mindset shift from seeing money as a distraction to viewing it as a means of amplifying your purpose. Many chosen ones go through financial hardships as part of their spiritual journey because they need to reprogram these limiting beliefs about money. The financial difficulties you experience are not a punishment, they're a lesson. They're an opportunity for you to learn how to balance your spiritual path with the material world. Once you align your energy with abundance and shift your perspective on wealth, you open the door to receiving financial support while staying true to your spiritual mission, society's expectations, and the pressure to conform. Living in a society that places such high importance on financial success can be challenging, especially when your personal values don't align with these expectations. For chosen ones, this pressure to conform can feel overwhelming. You're living in a world that constantly bombards you with messages that your worth is tied to your financial status and that without money, you're not successful. This can create a sense of inner conflict. On one hand, you know that your true value comes from your spiritual gifts, your ability to help others, and your connection to the divine. But on the other hand, the world around you is telling you that if you're not financially successful, you're failing in some way. This disconnect between your spiritual beliefs and society's expectations can be difficult to navigate. Family and friends may not fully understand your path. They might question why you've chosen a career that doesn't bring in a lot of money, or why you haven't reached certain financial milestones that society deems important. These expectations can weigh heavily on you, especially when they come from people you care about. The world rewards material success, but for chosen ones, the journey is different. Your path isn't about accumulating wealth or status. It's about spreading light, healing others, and elevating consciousness. But that doesn't mean you don't feel the pressure to conform at times. It can be frustrating to see others around you pursuing financial goals and achieving them while you're focused on a higher calling that doesn't always come with financial rewards. It's important to remember that society's expectations are not the measure of your success. As a chosen one, your success is measured by how aligned you are with your purpose, how much love and light you bring into the world, and how deeply you connect with the divine. Financial wealth is only one form of abundance, and while it's necessary to meet your needs, it's not the only measure of a fulfilling life. That said, you shouldn't feel guilty for wanting financial stability or abundance. Just because you're spiritually awakened doesn't mean you're not allowed to want or pursue wealth. The key is finding a balance where you can maintain your spiritual integrity while also creating financial stability. This balance allows you to live comfortably support your mission, and continue serving others without financial strain. Energetic misalignment with money. One of the most significant challenges that chosen ones face when it comes to money is an energetic misalignment. Money, like everything else, is energy. And just like other forms of energy, 
Your relationship with it can either be in alignment or out of balance. Many chosen ones carry subconscious blocks around money that stem from limiting beliefs. These beliefs often come from early childhood conditioning, past life experiences, or even societal programming. You may have grown up hearing phrases like, money doesn't grow on trees, rich people are greedy, or you can't be spiritual and wealthy. Over time, these beliefs become ingrained in your subconscious mind and create a block that prevents you from attracting financial abundance. You might also feel guilty about wanting money. As a spiritually awakened person, you understand that material wealth is not the ultimate goal. You know that inner peace, love, and connection with the divine are far more valuable than any amount of money. But this understanding can sometimes lead to an aversion to money. You might unconsciously push money away because you fear that it will corrupt your spiritual path or distract you from your higher purpose. This energetic misalignment with money creates a push-pull dynamic. On one hand, you need money to live, to support yourself, and to continue your spiritual mission. On the other hand, you have this deep-seated belief that money is somehow bad or that wanting it is selfish. This internal conflict creates resistance making it difficult for you to attract the financial abundance you desire. To overcome this energetic block, you need to reframe your relationship with money. Start by acknowledging that money is simply a tool, an energy that you can use for good. When you have money, you are able to support yourself and others, invest in your spiritual growth, and create positive change in the world. Money doesn't have to be a distraction from your spiritual path. It can be a way to amplify your purpose and reach more people with your message. The key to manifesting financial abundance. Now that you understand the energetic blocks and limiting beliefs around money, how can you manifest financial abundance as a chosen one? The key starts with changing your mindset. First, you need to release any limiting beliefs you have about money. Start by viewing money as energy, an energy that flows into your life when you're open to receiving it. It's not about greed, it's about being in alignment with the flow of abundance. There are practical ways to manifest financial abundance as well. Visualization, affirmations, and even energy healing can help shift your energy toward attracting wealth. You can also begin to look for opportunities that allow you to create income from your purpose. Whether it's through spiritual teaching, healing work, or sharing your message with the world, there are ways to make a living while staying true to your path. The role of divine timing. One thing the chosen ones need to remember is the importance of divine timing. You might be doing everything right, serving your purpose, following your spiritual path, and working on manifesting abundance, but the financial rewards still feel out of reach. This can be frustrating, but it's important to understand that everything happens in divine timing. There's a reason why your financial abundance hasn't arrived yet. Maybe you're being prepared for something greater. Perhaps the universe is aligning you with the right opportunities, but you need to be patient. Divine timing isn't about instant gratification. It's about trusting that everything will happen when it's meant to. When you let go of the need for control and trust the process, you'll find that abundance comes when you're ready to handle it responsibly. It may not come in the way you expect or at the time you want, but it will come when it's supposed to. So, why are chosen ones broke? It's not because you're doing something wrong or because you're not worthy of financial abundance. The truth is, financial struggles are part of the spiritual journey. They're a test, a way for you to grow and evolve on a deeper level. But remember, being a chosen one doesn't mean you're destined to be broke forever. By shifting your mindset, aligning your energy with abundance and trusting the process, you can create a life of both spiritual and financial fulfillment. You're on a unique path, and while it may come with challenges, those challenges are shaping you into the person you're meant to be. Financial abundance is possible, and it's waiting for you. It's just a matter of trusting in divine timing, staying true to your purpose, and being open to receiving the wealth that is yours. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might need this message. Stay blessed, 
And remember, your abundance is on its way.